I notice Evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for joining tonight's summit. We are on the fourth Sunday summit power pack session. We are expecting for this evening. Welcome to everybody that has just joined. Just for the sake of protocol, please just go over to the chat if you have just joined and let us know where in the world you are joining tonight's meeting from. We'll highly appreciate that. Over and above, um, I think during the course of the session, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to put them in the chat. Uh, as if, if anything, if you have any questions right now, please feel free to put them in the chat right now so that we can just plan accordingly when we get to the question and answer section of tonight's summit. So tonight we are going to be having our two main speakers. Mo is going to be doing a succinct and short introduction to the Lumi Digital Currency. And uh, then we'll hand over to Dr. Chong. Then uh, without any further ado, um, I am going to hand over to more, but just before I do that, just to read some of the comments that are in the chat, uh, Charlton joining from Cape Town, South Africa, Linford is from Ghana, uh, Lars from Christ Queenstown, South Africa, um, Gege from Free State Bloemfontein, Alice from Queenstown, South Africa, uh, Zakaria Six from South Africa, Bloemfontein, Zazile from Queenstown, South Africa. Welcome everybody um, and anybody else who has just subsequently joined, welcome. Just please feel free to put your details there in the chat. And as highlighted, if you have any, any questions, please also put them in on the chat. Uh, Mabalo from Lesotho, uh, noted. Okay, uh, more over to you. Welcome everyone to the fourth Sunday summit. Today is the faith of our Welcome once more everyone to our to the fourth Sunday summit. Today is the first of August and we are presenting from Springs Houteng in South Africa and we will speak to the following slides africa's time is now and the next uh, session and slides will tell us about a great reset opportunity that is led by echo six under the leadership of his royal highness chief timothy mcpherson state of the african diaspora under the leadership of prime minister dr louis george Steen, and african kingdoms federation led by queen Shiva the third her imperial majesty this is a story that is developing of africans and the african diaspora or the africans in the diaspora to come together empowered by the capabilities that have been developed with originally of course the contribution of akompong and the revolts that have happened against slavery and the developments that subsequently came together and enabling Africans today to negotiate a unity that moves into making Africa great again, a future we never knew, but it is coming and it is in development. Let us listen to the next slides that are telling us about that great reset. Our sun. It has been burning for over four and a half billion years, and yet, it is still less than halfway through its life. Worshipped by many civilizations and religions, it is the enabler and sustainer of all life on our world. The great continent of Africa. Truly, it is the cradle of life on our planet, 
and today it is home to many people and coaches. Bathed in sunlight, its jungles, deserts, mountains and plains have given rise to, and support, a rich diversity of wildlife. Africa is also rich in precious metals, minerals and agricultural resources, which have given rise to the wealth of industries and nations. But this wealth has not been wholly to the benefit of the nations of Africa, as this excerpt, from a speech by Manon Smart Williams, from Sierra Leone, suggests. One thing that keeps me puzzled, despite having studied science and economics at the world's best universities, the following question remains unanswered. Why is it that 5,000 units of our currency is worth one unit of your currency? where we are the ones with the actual gold reserves. With all its mineral wealth, plus the abundance of daily sunlight, Africa has the ability to become an economic powerhouse. And this starts with creating a unifying, global non-fiat currency, one with real intrinsic value. Introducing the African Kingdom's Lumi, a non-fiat digital currency that is underwritten by an established unit value, equating to 100 kilowatt hours of solar energy, at a market value equal to 0.2592 grams of gold, which equates to 15 US dollars and 96 cents per AK Lumi. The AK Lumi is classic money with the following features. 1. It is a store of value. 2. It is a unit of account. And 3. It is a medium of exchange. It is interesting to note that the most valuable currencies in the world are not the US dollar or the euro, but the Kuwaiti dinar, the Bahraini dinar, and the Amali riyal. This is because these semi-fiat currencies are underpinned by a correlation between their monetary policies and their hydrocarbon-based economies. The AK Lumi, being underpinned by gold and or renewable solar energy, thus abandons the fiat currency system altogether and establishes its value as a premium currency on the global market, whilst restoring real value to African monetary policy. On the 1st of August 2019, the Economic Community of States, Nations, Territories and Realms of the African Diaspora 6 region, or ECO 6, was established by treaty and ratified by its member states. The ECO 6 has become the second largest African institution in the world, after the African Union. The establishment of the ECO 6 enables the African diaspora community to actively participate in the economic transformation, trade integration, and emancipation of continental Africa at a global level. The introduction of the AK Lumi as a single global African currency will stimulate unprecedented economic growth and the elimination of debt. As of April 2021, the AK Lumi was being used in some 142 countries, and by the beginning of 2022, it is expected that the adoption and use of the digital currency will become global. The AK Lumi will not only unite Africans across the continent and throughout the diaspora, but will also give them the financial freedom and respect that has been unrighteously usurped for too long. The economic revolution has already begun, and it will ultimately foster enhancements in business, international trade, employment, quality of life, education, health services, technology, communications and transportation. And so the goal of a prosperous Africa, built by Africans, for Africans, can finally be realized. The African Kingdom's Lumi bringing unity, self-determination, financial freedom, growth, prosperity and the elimination of debt to all people of Africa. Lerato, thank you very much. Awesome, thank you so much, Mark.
Um, and just to highlight to everybody on the call that uh, today's introduction to the Lumi Digital Currency, uh, we do a short version in terms of the introduction. However, please feel free to join our sessions on Thursdays and Saturdays where we do the full version in terms of the introduction. So on that note, uh, also just moving forward to our next speaker, uh, Dr. Cheryl Chong, who is the Minister of Family and Social Economy economy for the state of the African diaspora. Before I hand over to her, just to highlight, if you have any questions, comments, even right now, please feel free to put them in the chat and we will address them accordingly. Thank you. Without any further ado, Dr. Cheryl Chong. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It is always a pleasure to be in this gathering every Sunday. It's probably the highlight of my week. <laughs> and I hope to make it the highlight of everybody else's week as we move ahead. Because in this session, we will not just be um, trained, but we will be empowered to become all that we were created to be and to be each one to be a part of the liberation process for the peoples of African descent across the world. I want to start today's session by sharing with you and adapting for all of Africa the Jamaica National Anthem. Today is our Independence Day, and we have two um, two special commemorative days in August. It's August one and six, where we have first in the emancipation, and then we have independence. And so we call it. It is a week of emancipation, <laughs> where we are emancipated in order to uh, embrace our independence and that is what today's session is going to be about how Africa can emancipate individually collectively and globally in order to really embrace and to be truly independent, because although many countries have their official independence, alas, there is no real independence because there is still struggles in our mindsets and in the activities that we engage in on a daily basis. So. Here is our national uh, anthem adapted to the people of Africa and the African diaspora. It is actually a prayer. Eternal Father, bless our land. Guard us and guide us with your mighty hand. Keep us free from all evil powers. Be our light through countless hours. To our leaders, great defender, grant true wisdom from above. Justice, peace be ours forever. Africa, land we love. Teach us true respect for all. Stir response to duty's call. Strengthen us, the weak, to cherish. Give us vision, lest we perish. Knowledge send us, Heavenly Father. Grant true wisdom from above. Justice, truth, be ours forever. Africa, land we love. And so, today, I invite all persons of African descent to 
come along, come on board and embrace this anthem that engages supernatural intervention in our achieving true emancipation so that we can truly be independent of those around who seek to control us but will never succeed because today we are going to be looking at paradise restored paradise, paradise restored this is a result of a, a vision that was given to me um, about the restoration of paradise the restoration of God's original intent for creating mankind and for creating Africa and the people of African descent. I want to start from the beginning. For there was no beginning. Because God always was. And we always were, our spirits were always there in God. And we just have to think of the beginning of time, that we know it as in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And as we all know, the garden that we have some as mythology and some as our religious backgrounds was in the middle of Africa. God created us as sons of God in his own image. And he had released in us every characteristic of the Godhead so that we can carry out the mandate that we have been given to multiply, and that word multiply does not, uh, um, it, it does not only apply to children. In fact, multiply there means utilizing every source that you have in order to get such a large profit on your resources that there is abundance more than enough for each person who utilizes or engages in being a part of paradise restored, which is the continent of Africa. And out of the belly of Africa shall flow rivers of living water to first of all refresh, renew, rejuvenate, and replenish our individual selves, then that of our families, then that of our communities, then that of our nations, individually and independently, before we look to exporting or assisting with the rest of the world. So let us look and focus on the sequence of what God intended for us. And this is why in his first creation, he made his first creation from the dust of the earth. In his own image, he made them male and female because God is not a man. God is the encompassing of all creation. He is not a woman. He is not a breast. He is everything that there is. And he has given us all of those capacities in order to restore and continuously restore all the different gifts abilities, assets, and sources that he has endowed us with. And so today, I call on each individual listening 
to understand that within them has been placed the dreams, visions, and downloads that are required for you to perform, each one to perform in the area of restoration, renewal of our beloved earth, starting from the place where you now stand in your own individual physical bodies through going back to God's way of help, through your own individual minds and psyches by going back to embrace the mind of God that was placed in us when he breathed into us and we became a living soul. So going back to embracing and operating out of that spirit that he placed within us, which is an embryo of his own spirit that lives within us. Without it, we can have no life. And so it behoves us to go back into ourselves and start operating from the omnipotence, all power, the omniscience, all knowledge, and the omnipresence, ever present in every situation, because that is the DNA of God that was breathed into us by his breath when we were created. The second thing I want us to remember is that we were all created for purpose and eternity. Created before the foundations of the earth. Created to last forever into eternity. But placed into this earth realm at this time specifically for such a time like this. Positioned into the earth realm. Empowered. Given the authority all the resources and everything that we need to carry out the vision that has been placed in our hearts and minds, our bodies, our spirits and our souls at the time of creation. And so I would call on everyone here to not just receive what they're doing or what they're hearing today for themselves. But each one has areas of influence, regardless of their age, capabilities, or circumstances. Every child has influence. Every adult has influence. Every senior has influence. And this influence needs to be used to empower yourself first and then to empower all of those who are around. We have been called and empowered to heal the sick, break the bondages of those who are enslaved physically, spiritually, and mentally. We have been called to raise those who are dead. Dead because they are unable to activate and utilize those abilities and gifts and, and power that is within us. And the one thing that can stop is the issue of fear. Fear and unbelief are our only enemies. If we believe that we have been made in God's image with everything we need for life and everything we need for abundance, if we believe, then we will have no fear. 
Because God has not given us a spirit of fear. Along with creation, he gave us his spirit, which is love, which is all-powerful, and which gives us a sound mind. If we use that sound mind to influence every single thing that we engage in, as a man thinketh, so is he. Not just in his heart, but it influences everything around. So we need to get back to our early beliefs. We need to get back to our early practices that served us well. This week, somebody sent me an image of the old roads that used to be built with stone like a cobblestone road, and the fact that those roads lasted indefinitely. They, were all, they only have been destroyed by man digging them up. But those original roads are everlasting. They are everlasting as the materials, the stone of the earth, that made them. However, we were tricked into adapting the ways of our um, co colonial masters to put down asphalt and concrete and lots of other stuff, which not only poison our atmospheres, but which have no longevity and are just a problem for us. So it is our choice. We can choose to receive the enemy's culture, lifestyle, and ways, or we can choose to return to the old past that our Creator not only set down for us, but gave us every single thing freely. We don't have to go and buy asphalt and concrete. We just dig up the earth to make our houses. We just dig up the rocks to make our roads. It's all there, freely given to us. We must get back to the old paths if we are going to have paradise restored. In the beginning, God made man. Man his own image. Made from the dust of the earth. And its significance, why I'm coming back to that, is that you cannot operate in the image of God unless you are expressing and you have within you the dust of the earth. And as a scientific researcher in molecular medicine and psychiatry, I recognize that without melanin, the color of the skins of persons of African descent, you cannot express and be empowered to operate with God's image. Only with the DNA that includes melanin can we operate. A moment. It does matter. DNA is the trigger that allows human beings to operate with the God empowerment. And that includes physically, psychologically, and spiritually. So we need to be sorry for those who have no melanin. And not discriminate against them but don't allow them to control us. 
so made from the dust of the earth. And he put within us dreams, visions, and downloads that we can have a plan to follow all our lives. I often refer to the fact that I charted my course at age six. It doesn't matter when you chart your course because I have mentored persons who have started their course at 56. At 66, and they have flown far past me who charted my course at six because that is God's way. And only thing we need is to believe what God says about us so that we can access everything he has provided for us. And so I will encourage each person listening and those who will listen to this in the future because this particular session is going to go around the world to every country on earth. And I say, get your recording device, whether it's a tablet, a pen, or writing in sand, and record those dreams and visions and downloads that we all receive from our Creator in the first seven years of your life. Record every crazy dream, every impossible dream, because God stands ready to bring it to pass. It is the time. Hear the word of the Lord. The time is now. It is the time to bring all of those into place and the empowerment is just waiting for you to say, yes, I believe, I believe. And just that word of I believe banishes all fear and opens us to receive the love, the power, and a mindset of self-control that will propel us forward in accomplishing our dream. Now, why am I saying all of this? <laughs> it is because God has prepared for us through Echo 6 and the state of the African diaspora a guideline, a guideline for moving us to start taking control of the 12 areas of life that each person engages in on a daily basis. On a daily basis, we all make choices to be a part of every one of these pillars of activity. And these pillars of activity are, and I'm going to read them from my notes as downloaded from on high in the order in which they should go. The first is family. The second is health. The third is religion. The fourth is business. The fifth is finance. The sixth is media. The seventh is communication. The eighth is education. The ninth is mind control. The tenth is government. The eleventh is real estate. And the twelfth is arts and entertainment. These twelve pillars we all engage in on a daily basis. And we have got to make those choices that 
will either move us forward or pull us back. Because every choice we make will move us forward or pull us back. Even if you do not make a choice, you are being moved forward or pulled back. There is only a dead person does not advance or retreat. So we're going to be encouraging you to avail yourself of what all the opportunities that face you today and tomorrow and the next day, but more importantly, today. So that you can be a part of the plan of God that Africa will become paradise restored for out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, can you say wow? Um, amazing uh, what you have just shared there, uh, Dr. John. Amazing, and uh, truly, it's about going back to basics and knowing who you are and whose you are. So, I really appreciate that. Um, just to ask Dr. Chong, do you perhaps have a guest for tonight's session? No, there is no guest. I would like to engage with those listening on everything that we have covered. Because what I have covered will take your lifetime to put into place. And so those who are interested you're asking how to question and whatever else you want or you may need to put this vision into place. Those are questions that I want to engage in. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Dr. Charles. So I guess that means that officially brings us to the Q&A portion of tonight's session. Um, just to indicate to everybody, please feel free to use the chat functionality for any questions you might have, else you can come off mute and ask your questions and we'll fill them accordingly. Um, there have been other questions posted in the chat which have been attended to. So if you posted any questions there, uh, you can have a look at the responses that have been put in the chat. But um, so right now, I am just going to open the floor for questions and answers. Uh, while you are trying to figure out how to come off mute, if you are calling in from a cell phone type of device if you touch your screen the controls for this meeting will show up and you can unmute yourself there else if you are calling from a computer type of device at the bottom of your screen you will see the microphone icon which is the unmute button you can unmute yourself there and and if you are trying to send a chat um, in, with your question uh, on a computer type device at the bottom right of the screen, you should have a little chat box there which you can click and have all your chats uh, put in. Else if you are on a mobile device, uh, the icon is on in call messaging. So if you use in-call messaging, you'll be able to send through your questions, comments. Okay. On that note, please feel free to come off mute and ask any questions that you might have.
Uh, pause and go see. I see you are off mute. Do you perhaps have a question? Comment. Oh, um, oh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Zipozo Onga. I am from South Africa. <coughs> Eastern Cape. Uh, in a small town from Tart. <coughs> uh, I have been introduced in Rome. <coughs> So, uh, I didn't understand at that time, but I made some follow-ups, and I was, uh, <clears throat> I was invited in the group uh, by Mr. Vando. So, I listened to his videos, uh, he said once, uh, People are invited as an ambassador as in loan, so I didn't understand them what is an ambassador. And then it took me almost a month to understand exactly what is an ambassador. So I decided uh, I was scared to join the group so much, but I was there in in the group. Uh, so now I decided to come and introduce myself. So I was introduced by members of COXI and then I was registered as an agent. So in my community here called Kyombo, I registered a lot of people, maybe it's hundred of them. So now I just want to understand better because I have this responsibility of uh, like people are asking their money is accumulating. So now they are asking how they are going to to access their money. So now in the videos I have listen that there are other accounts which are gold and platinum which they can help someone like me who have been registered as an agent so i just want to understand how does it works to know better than i know now so i want to know more about these accounts <laughs> Great, wonderful. That is an amazing question because that is the purpose of this particular summit today. Because I have been getting individual um, individual questions from all over the world, like about 25 different countries, where they have been registered and are registered registering people without full um, appreciation of what the own process is about. So this is partially why I, as Minister of Family, have decided that I cannot answer <laughs> all of these individual questions and so have decided to answer these questions in the summit every Sunday. Now, in your situation, I just sent out today a um, a note on on that something on how to move forward from the position where you are. We will be sending to all ambassadors, all MPs, all persons who are working in with Lumi in any shape or form, an invitation for them to register or have registered every person who they have signed up for the Lumi. 
so that they can have access to the training that has been provided by the state of the African diaspora. In fact, the um, King Semako was the one who requested this training for all persons who have signed up and received their money. Now, it was not mandated because we have to make our own decisions based on our own desires. And so what has happened is the Lume has been distributed. That is the first process. Next, we have to be trained in how to move ourselves from consumers to producers before we can understand how to engage or use the Lumi. But everybody is trying to spend the Lumi before they have been empowered with how to get to the place where they are the producers. Because we do not want you using your Lumi to purchase anything from other persons who are not engaging the Lumi. The Lumi is a gift. And the first request is that once you have received your first stimulus of 6.26, you immediately take three Lumi and register for the empowerment program. This program is not just endorsed by, but on each of the sessions, there are speeches made and encouragements and directions given by King Semarco, by PM Tink, that's our Prime Minister, by VPM Ketura, by VPM uh, Hugh Johnson, by Vice President Brown, Melvin Brown, and also by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, um, His Excellency Kenyamo Brown. All of those persons are giving directives as to how you are to utilize the loan on our training. So persons who do not register for the not from program will always have questions which I cannot answer and which your other leaders cannot answer because those who were responsible for giving us the Lume have already directed how it is to be used to the screen. So if you are registering other persons, you need to contact them and get them because once they have been registered, they are in total control of their own resources. You no longer have any control over them. But you need to encourage them and see that they, every single one of them register for the NASA program by giving them the link. And I have stopped giving out the link to general people and I tell them, go back to the person who registered you and let them give you the link. So the link will be available. I'm going to ask more to put it up so that everybody can get the link and pass it on to their, the persons who they have registered because it is in a comment on those who have registered other persons and have, uh, what should I say, have received a commission for register, not for registering them, but for the transaction of their receiving their first Lumi. Every time you register somebody and they receive anything into their account, you will get a commission. And so as an agent, you must 
work for your commission, right? And you must help the persons you have registered because you are getting a commission based on their activities. Secondly, the commission is not just paying out for persons who receive funds or when persons receive funds, but every time they pay out. So if you have a thousand persons registered under you and you tell them to register for the NAP fam, you will also receive a commission based on their paying out that three lumi to register for the course because that is what the Swifting platform is about. It is about rewarding those who encourage those they have registered to keep trading using the Lumi. And this is why we do not want it um, uh, changed into any other currency because then they will not be trading on the platform and you will not get your commission. So understand that there are myriads of spin-offs in encouraging those who have the Lumi to trade on the platform. If you would like to exchange a, some wrong provisions with your friend next door, as I do, I let them deposit the money in your account and then I give them the product. That way, not only do we have the loom going into circulation, but we also maintain the fact that this is our currency of choice. And the more you use it, the more it will increase, not just in intrinsic value, but in at the point of exchange, as a medium of exchange. You can't say it's a medium of exchange and nobody uses it. So we have to prefer the use of our currency as a medium of exchange. At the beginning, it may not be so easy, but if you don't stick to it, you will never be able to restore paradise to its original way of operation. So I hope I have given you the sequence of how you need to move forward at this point. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Chong. And I think um, Zipo Zonke, I do apologize for that. Um, you also spoke about gold platinum. And I see uh, Tammy and Vanto from Lume Africa are here. Uh, they would be able to speak to that. Tammy, Vanto? Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yes, uh, Vanto, the question was around the gold platinum uh, arrangement that uh, Lumi Africa has. How does it work? Well, um, that is that is consumers. There is uh, people who are receiving a stimulus just as consumers. I think the doctor has spoken about people who are at the consumer level. We are busy with the ecosystems of, of producers, the ecosystems of people who want to start to do business. And the, the whole issue of the, the, the platinum all the classes that are there, they are purely for a, a platform, which we said that it's going to open very soon. It's a, 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 a huge platform that is assisting people to arrange themselves in businesses, whereby as clusters, they are going to say, we are the suppliers. They are going to say, we are supplying in this particular industry. 
So all those are just ways of investing into the platform, which is quite a broad platform, but also works in the issue of exchange. I think if if they attend into a meeting, maybe which which is on Wednesdays, in that meeting they'll be able to understand broadly about that area. That area is purely on people who are producers, who, are, who say, we want to come together as an industry, and this is what we want to do. So it is a completely different area than the area of people not just saying, we are consumers. Those people, they are there to register for free or anything. So that is just a platform that is arranged for a certain group of people who say, we have a plan. We want to produce. We want to enter into these areas in the ecosystems, beginning from South Africa, going all the way to other areas. I hope, I hope that you answer me for that. But on Wednesdays, that is where we have a special place, as, as well as on bi-weekly meetings on Fridays, where we explain more about the, the new exchange. Uh, thank you so much, Vanda. Uh, and I think uh, on that note, I am just cognizant of the time. I am not seeing any questions um, come up in the chat. Um, no, no questions. No further questions. Are, anyway. are we going to 1.30? I mean, are we going no. to another 25 minutes? Uh, yes. Um, to find out. Thank you. So I we have to address the, 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 um, the question of producers from an individual point of view. Okay, I am going to take Lars's question. Uh, Lars, I saw you come off mute, and then we will answer Lars's question, and then we'll come back to the comment on producers. Oh, okay. well, thank you very much. Um, um, from, I'm not sure if from Eastern Cape, me, uh, South Africa, Eastern South. Um, basically, it's not a question per se, a comment. Um, I think well, I'm also one of the producers here this side, and um, I'm also an agriculture wow. in farming. Now, what, what I wanted to understand is that. I'm on a phone. Hello? Can I continue? Yes, please continue. Right. No, thank you. Um, one what, what, what of the things that I'm interested in is these meetings on one day that we are talking about of being producers. Because now we should not see the the, the, the opportunity of of Lumi in a way of um of 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 of, of just uh, of of having fun, but of developing ourselves. Um, because now, uh, here in South Africa, also one thing I experience is that you'll be a producer, but the market is a red tape. It's difficult to sell your product. And now, if we put a platform whereby we are able to get, we are suppliers, we are able to get uh, 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 consumers. Anyway, if maybe we are able to export it to Africa, um, and now I, I'm, I'm saying I'm just saying that we need platform like that. Well, now that's what discourages us from being producers here. Well, you get people who are uh, who are big business people, whereby they go to a certain um, a company, they put big money, maybe hundred thousand, to say, please don't I'll accept any any supplier besides myself until I sell my product to you. So you, you get that there's a red tape in the market that is making it difficult for us to enter the market. So I appreciate this platform. And then what I wanted to understand is that um, uh, uh, in, in terms of these business classes, uh, workshops, um, uh, is there a way whereby we can um, uh, we, we, we get these workshops weekly or, we, or which days? Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Rizoko. Um, I think that they want to mention that the um, Lumi Africa has a session happening every Wednesday. Um, if um, Vanto, if you can just share the details in the chat um, so that Rizoko can pick those up for the session you have on Wednesdays. 
And uh, then I can ask uh, Dr. Chong if you can just speak to the issue of producers. Thank you. The issue of producers. The purpose of the Lumi is to make every consumer into a producer. And so that is what the NASAM course is about transforming every consumer into a producer. One of the things that we are trying to prevent is the establishment of a new elitist group within the um, state of the African diaspora and the users of Lumi, where we move from one set of big producers to another set of big producers. The purpose of the Lumi is to equally empower every consumer to become a producer. Because if we do not do that, then we remove the sovereignty and the ability to become self-sufficient from the individual, which is our objective in this whole financial reset and this whole return to our original roots, which had us empowered by families to be all equally wealthy, to all have our own family legacies and have our decision making, our decision making not uh, controlled by our lack of control of our sources. And I hope I said that exactly how I wanted to say. So this situation of the two groups are totally uh, symbiotic so that persons can move from their present state of dependency on those outside to independence where they are in total control of all their productive capacities then to move to interdependence. What is happening currently, and I will say very openly, is that there are many among us that are attempting to move persons from being dependent to being interdependent without engaging the individual activity of independence. And that is what is currently causing a challenge because in order to move to interdependence, one has got to take control of their own independence and not to be forced to be interdependent because they do not have the capacity to be independent. I hope I'm not confused you there, but it is a step from dependence to independence, then to interdependence. And from the beginning, there has been a focus on interdependence or cross-country trade, 
with persons who are not currently independent and are not presently contributing to their national growth by becoming producers. And that is an equation that will cause lots of breaks in the chain. Let's just put it that way. So I am every person and every group has their, uh, their, their role to play, which is absolutely pivotal. We cannot operate without the interdependence and the big producers and those who are going to be trading across countries. But we cannot successfully maintain that for the benefit of all if we skip the issue of independence. So that is why it is important. And if the, those who um, gave us the Lumi and those who um, created the Lumi have requested that we go through the state of independence before moving on to interdependence, then I would suggest that that is the best route to take. I hope I have answered that question. Awesome, thank you, uh, Um, hello. Apana? Yes. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Apana. Yes, uh, thank you. I have uh, two questions for us. Um, still new to me. First of all, um, my name is Amakelvis. I'm um, in Zambia, and I've just been introduced to Rumi. I'm getting to know it bit by bit, uh, but I've got two questions because um, I've noticed the, here in Zambia, um, digital currency is the most critical thing that is being criticized. So, first of all, my question is, uh, how far have you engaged the Zambian government over the Rumi issue? Because recently we had a company called the um, uh, Heritage Coin that was dealing in, in, in uh, digital currency. And the company was uh, closed. The government moved in. It was closed because of uh, dealing with the digital currency. In short, what I'm trying to say is that the Bank of Zambia is very skeptical and it has been always issuing a statement to discourage people to use uh, any other foreign. What I mean, foreign, anything that is not approved by uh, the Bank of Zambia to use in the country. There are so many companies that have been mentioned, that have been closed, that have been engaged, that have been dealing in digital currency. So how far have you engaged the government on this one? Then secondly, I would want to know uh, how many business holders in Zambia that do accept the uh, Lomi currency. Um, because if there are any progress, I know that they are making progress. Those are my two questions. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna split the two, the questions into two and ask uh, Dr. Chong if he can speak on engagements of the government because I think that's one other question that came up on the chat and then if I can ask Melumba if you can speak on um, uh, businesses accepting the Lumi. Okay, Dr. Chong, you go first. Thank you. Okay, the engagement or distribution of the central bank currency is the purview of the state. Okay. Every state, that is every government, has its own money, and which is legal tender in their jurisdictions. The Lomi is from Central Bank and it is the money of the state 
it has been adopted by the state of the African diaspora. They are a government, they are a state, and all those who come under its purview are citizens of that state. And so using the money of the state of the African diaspora anywhere in the world among persons of that state is legal in any country. If two persons from England go to live in Jamaica and they trade with each other in British pounds, nobody can stop them because that is the money of their state. The Nomi is also the money of the African Kingdoms Federation and the banks of the African Kingdoms, which are not government federal banks, which are controlled by a private company in the US, right? They are sovereign central banks controlled by that those kingdoms. And so it is legal tender among persons of that kingdom. And this is why at the present time, we do not encourage any engagement or cross-reference with other currencies, unless it's being done by an agent who wants to send you money for your local currency, which is possible with every agent. Every agent can sell you loan for your, your local currency, that's the exchange, so that you can transact your business in loan. And this is available for any person, every country where there's an agent. Or you can do it with somebody in another country. But it's important to understand that the governments will never, the, the federal bank of the world, which controls all federal banks of governments across the world. I think there are about four countries that do not have their federal banks um, controlled by this organization. They have issued to all the government federal banks of the world that they are not to accept the looming. They are telling people that it's counterfeit, and they are telling people that it is illegal. But that is a lie. Because we are not purporting the Lumi as a government issued um, currency. It is issued by the state of the African diaspora, accepted by the African Kingdom Federation. And both are sovereign entities that nobody... Do you know that the state of the African diaspora was mandated by the United Nations through the African Union? So it's a legal entity. It is a legal government. It has a parliament. It has a cabinet. It has all the arms of government and it operates everything that a government operates only it is not it is without borders so our prime minister is in paris lives in paris or vpn lives in the, one of them lives in jamaica one lives in the gambia right and in every continent we have vice presidents and in every country at this present time, about 170 odd countries, we have members of parliament, and that is our um, cabinet for the top with ministers. And in honor, we have uh, a parliament which meets just like any other government. And so, we have our central bank, we have our money, we have our programs, we have our university. We have our Ministry of Mining, our Ministry of Education, our Ministry of Culture, all the ministries that you have in your government. Plus, we have in this. And what is happening is that people are being introduced to the Lumi because we are on a drive to move the Lumi at faster than the other digital currencies. And we got up there about uh, four months before everybody else. And so we are the widest distribution of digital currencies. We are not crypto.
We are just distributing our money so that everybody, every person of African descent in the world can have that money to start using, especially when other digital currencies come online, because those are being forced. And so we are ahead of the game, and that is why there is this, uh, what should I say, uh, focus on distribution. But now that we have started distribution, we must get persons up to speed with the um with 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 the uh, mindset that goes behind this or else it is going to be a problem it is going to cause us lots of heartache if we don't get that information in place and it will give the advantage to those who do not want us to get ahead so let's get on board every country that i know has training in, in, in the one, of one, at one level or the other. So this is another thing is that we need to have national databases, which is what we're trying to move together, so that we can list all the people who have stuff to sell, starting from a certain platform and moving into the uh, lower marketplaces, which are ready. We just need to have the things posted on there. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think we'll, with the last question, if um, Melumba, you can speak of people trading in or businesses trading in accepting Lumi. Thank you, Lorato. Um, I just want to add on to what uh, Dr. Chong mentioned. Um, I'd like to inform uh, John and everybody here that actually the Bank of Zambia has been engaged and they are aware about the Lumi, um, and the president too has also been engaged, and he sounded actually very uh, interested in it. I think one of the reasons why we have a little bit of delay is we do not have our ministers in office at the moment. Um, we are headed for elections in uh, 11 days' time, and uh, three months ago, all the ministers and members of parliament uh, were relieved of their positions. This is according to the constitution. So we do not have anyone in parliament who would have the power to sign a memorandum of, memorandum of uh, understanding uh, to enable the Lumi to be accepted as legal tender. So we actually have a vacuum of uh, leadership. Um, to talk about uh, businesses in Zambia, um, I'm aware of three at the moment. There's one uh, organization that um, is promoting the use of biogas and uh, they are able to pro, um, to provide the equipment for you to start your biogas um, uh, little factory, if I can call it that. And they are accepting part payment in Lumi. There is also a lodge uh, in uh, the northern part of Zambia, the north uh, eastern part, which is accepting Lumi for accommodation. There's also a printing company in Osaka that is accepting part Lumi. These are the three I'm actually aware of. And uh, I believe, John, if you are a member of the business forum, uh, the Lumi business forum that was just set up recently, you can get the exact details uh, about these organizations. But I think, again, um, as Dr. Chong has said, our interest is where can we spend this money because we are thinking with a consumer mind. So let's um, listen to what she has to say. She's advising us to say, for you to understand what the Lumi is about and how it should change us from being consumers to producers, let's all register for this uh, course. The details have been put in the chat. And once we go through that, things will become much clearer for us. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much.
But uh, I think on that note, I will just ask more if you can just come up and uh, do the announcement. Uh, I want to acknowledge that I see the links that have been placed in the chat for registering for the NetFem training program and also the a link to the Lumi Africa events page has been uh, posted in the chat for uh, the, you'll find the details on the Wednesday, Wednesday session they are having. Uh, more over to you. Yes, thank you, Lerato. I, am I, can you see my slides? Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Announcements um, and after quite an engaged uh, moment, we appreciate all the comments and uh, exchange and dialogue and conversations that are all aimed at empowering us. Now, our next online meetings are on Thursdays and Saturdays. We are sticking to 7 p.m. South African time, Johannesburg, Harare, uh, Lusaka, it's 7 p.m. and the rest would also be uh, according to your times. And NetFem, the next announcement is NetFem Practical Online Workshop is scheduled for the 9th of August. And only those who are registered for the NetFem course will be invited to this practical session. This is going to be enabling people to help them understand and put to practice what they would have learned. The third announcement is that on the fifth, or our fifth uh, Sunday summit is happening on the 8th exactly the same time 7 p.m south african time just the quick uh, local services and products available in lumi nakila lodge in chienge zambia it's a beautiful 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 um virgin land with uh, fish and a whole lot of other natural giftings this is in natende village Ch in chienge approximately 400 kilometers to Lua luambula province along Lake Mweru and near Democratic Republic of Congo. There's a lot of traffic because be between uh, Republic of Congo and this area. And there's a whole lot of other economic opportunities, but also economic uh, ventures, um, opportunities to even invest in various other important natural giftings that are available there. These are all at offer in at 5k AKL per night there is accommodation and the services include food laundry car wash wi-fi dstv all available in fiat but accommodation is available in lumi another guest house is wakana estate guest house in eswatini and wakana is offering accommodation and this is a 3.7 uh, AK Lumi per night and it's located in Malinza, seven kilometers from Kim Swati, the third international airport. There's also teas, coffee uh, capsules available made from baobab and these are organic products uh, and uh, they are South African produced and available at 150 to 200 depending on what you want and partial Lumi uh, sold partially in Lumi. And lastly, say, last but not least, the space is available for you to promote your work, especially if it's available in Lumi. Now, we have a summit that is hosted by Queen Shiva III every Monday, 6 p.m. tomorrow night. If you would like to attend, we are encouraging you to attend because it's also an important meeting. The details can be shared in the chat. And we are available on social media the slide there disappeared i'm not quite sure what happened but we thank you very much for spending this time with us and thank you Lerato. I, I give back to you awesome thank you so much more i think we are like right on the dot for time um just want to extend a special thanks to uh, the minister of family and social economy of the state of the african diaspora dr uh, Cheryl Chong for your presence tonight and also just extend um, a head of gratitude to everybody that is on the call tonight. It is the first step that you take that is the most important.
it, it is easy um, I'm a runner when you are going to go running a marathon it all starts with that very first step so if you're not able to take that very first step it becomes really difficult so I appreciate everybody for your time and your presence on tonight and would like to just inform you as uh, Moa mentioned next week Sunday we are having our fifth uh, summit and over and above as indicated earlier we are having an extensive introduction to the Lumi Digital Currency sessions happening on Thursdays and Saturdays at 1900 South African Standard Time. Please on the same link. So please use that link and join um, those sessions and be empowered. And on that note, um, thank you everyone for joining tonight and um, I will adjourn the session.